Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel, day number 70, and we are just going to jump into some 10 minute games, I think. I know we've been kind of going back and forth between 10s and 15 10s, but yeah, I think we'll continue to do that unless things get really ridiculous in terms of not being able to win 10 minute games and talk as well. So let's just keep it moving. Let's keep it going. And we're going to push this forward. Everything's protected. Okay, so they want to take out one of the defenders for this. We're also going to do this just to stop a check coming in as well. That's always important. Now, this is still defended with the queen. So even if they take this away, that's not an issue. We could... Could return the favour. What do you reckon? Bishop? Bishop g4? Or even just take this out? They take back and then things are kind of really open. I mean, it's 10 minutes, so it's going to be a bit fast and ferocious. Now, this is interesting because if they take this right, now things are getting a little bit spicy. So first things first, we are going to take, we're going to take this. No, that's bad. No, it's not bad because they now can't take with this. Otherwise, they lose their queen. So what about the check? Does the check do anything for us? Let's go for the check. Do they want to trade queens? If so, maybe I'll take this out first. Then they have to take back the pawn. Okay, that's quite interesting as well. Let's threaten, let's threaten this. Now, obviously, wow, okay, we missed that. Um, how can we try and... Got to be careful, got to be careful. So, that is fine. They can attack us again, can't they? I've, I think I've got to drop back here. Okay, that was a mistake. So, now we're targeting this. And I think they'll take that out. But I just had to be wary of this as well. The fork. So queen back was fine. I mean, there's ideas of a check, obviously not now, because knight takes, but... Interesting one. Um... Okay, so we're pawn down, no need to panic. Okay, that's interesting. Now, what we will do is if they're looking to take this, we could be in a bit of trouble. So I think the first thing is first and we will, they're obviously defending this. So if we go in like so, that's not a bad move as well, is it? That's fine. Come back. Now, actually, that check is there. They could just defend it like so. Then we couldn't take this because queen defends. Is there any way we can make this work? Does the check do anything? What about if we come here for the check? They go here defending. We come up. They take. Just all very messy, isn't it? It is just really, really messy. So what I think the best thing to do is to maybe just get this piece out. Is that bad? So hang on. If we go like this, for example, they can check. We take back. No, that's fine. So we'll do that. We just want to get our pieces out. I think they'll castle now. We, we need to castle. Only a pawn down. Not the end of the world. Okay. Now I think we... Now I think we take, we can take again. Mm. 
now expecting a check can just block it and I, I should have castling needs to happen from both of us this is this is fast ferocious and they just took a pawn okay now with the check what happens Okay, so hang on. Shall I castle first? Is that the best thing to do? That's hanging, isn't it? That is just hanging. But it's not. Why is it not? Because if I take, they can come in for a check. And then I defend it like... You need to castle. No, I, do I just... If I take that, hang on. Let me figure this out. Still time on the clock. I take, they come in for a check, I block, and they win this back. What's he saying? He's shaking my hand. He's just sent me a little message. Handshake. Hello. Friendly vibes. Okay, cool. So let's just, that isn't free. Unless I'm missing out on a trick. Or do we chase the queen? Then we get the check. No, we can't get the check then. They just come back and then we can't castle. So that was probably not the best move, but we get a pawn. They can just take this, but if they do, they then lose this. Okay, that is annoying. Like, really annoying. Okay, they can check again. We take, but they'd lose the queen. So, crikey, leave me alone. Now they can take this, right. That was a mistake. My opponent says, I missed this. Unlucky dude, it happens. It happens. Trust me, it happens to me a lot. So, yeah, we capture our, their queen. And we can't castle. Our piece is all over the place. But they resign. They want a rematch. I can't kind of, I just want to, um, but yeah, no, so that was, <laughs> I mean, that, that goes to show, doesn't it? The 10 minute games and the 15 tens, I mean, it's a whole different game, a whole different game. And you do play better chess with longer format games. And they got 69% accuracy. I got 63% accuracy. They got one blunder and we know what their blunder was. Okay, so we just did all of this. This was all fine. I think now I should have pushed. I think, is it is it that? I've got A6 or, or is it just take the pawn, isn't it? Just take the pawn or take that pawn. Okay. Anyway. And then this, that was bad. That was silly because A invites them out and allows them to kind of move around if needs be. And it's just a it's just a weak move. Maybe f five potentially, or even just come here, e six, defending this again. But yeah, I, I I made that move, and I don't know. I thought it was a bit silly. Okay, taking that was right. Check was just again not to. They just come back. Now that. I got myself into all sorts of complications because of that pawn. And coming back, I think, was the best move. Yeah, just didn't want that fork coming in. Had to be careful. Okay. And now they're targeting this free pawn. And that was bad. I should have just castled, no? Or just come back and protect the pawn like that. 
and attack this. Okay. See, I'm a little bit hemmed in here and the computer says I'm 1.2 down, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, so they come in there and we, the best move was castling. Yeah, I should have, cast. if I'd have castled, I would have felt a lot more confident. Yeah. That was just bad for me. The whole thing was just bad. No, best thing was. <sighs> yeah, okay, all right. That was. And that happens. It's got me playing like a 1300 and them a 1500. So, you know, it is what it is. And what we're going to do now is we're going to play another game. Jump into another 10 minute game and let's see what we can do. Okay. Right, E4, E5 and... Okay, we're going to come out. Okay, and now we'll develop this because we don't want the check coming in, even though it can't happen just yet. It can still come in. We play the same sort of system against the Ponziani or the... Um, or generally the Italian. So here I think this is me kind of out of my comfort zone. Not gonna lie. I could cut off this coming in at all or even just develop my pieces. Now, what would the computer want me to do in this situation? Strike in the middle, queen comes out. Yeah, why not? Why not? This is obviously okay. So they did wanna do that. Now, if they take that, we just, so what about this is okay, interesting. Now, okay, let's come out like this. Let's do it. Can take back with the queen. If they take one of these pawns, then that's fine as well. Right, okay, now I think we wanna develop some more pieces. So, how do we wanna go about this, is the question. Now, if I take, they take, I take, they take, I can't take. So let's just develop. Yeah, let's develop. Got two eyes looking at it, two defending it. So Okay, so I think maybe, which way are they gonna castle? Are they gonna get the queen out? I mean, this is kind of stuck for the time being. And obviously if, I would take, take. So maybe queen comes out. Do they want to just get rid of that? A lot of questions. Um, do we pressure that bishop? If so, you know it's just stepping back onto h4. So then we pressure it again. Is that quite nice or do we? is that too overextended? Okay, so we just take back. I think we're going to take back with the... Um, Hmm. We'll take back with this. Just because the queen's defending that. Right, so we just come back. That's fine. Queen maybe comes out now. Right, now I think it's time to kind of get this up here. Getting our pieces out. Now I'll be intrigued to see which way they castle. Maybe they'll go... If I was them, okay, they're looking at that bishop. What do we do to protect it is the question. And we could just drop back, but if they attack, then we're lost. So we just need to just, just step back. We'll come back here. So now our queen's free to move and we don't need to worry about this really. So we castle, we've got our rook on the F file. I don't mind this position at the moment. Just got to be a bit wary of these horses and what they're going to do. Can't come in there. Um, now. I think castling is definitely the best move. So I think we're going to castle. 
and I know the computer would be telling me, it'd be screaming at me like every move, it's saying no, castle, castle. So, are they aiming at this, maybe? We're gonna castle. Maybe ideas of coming around here, slipping into this, and then seeing what they've got to do. I mean, we can get our rook over here on the D file instead. Quite like that. Yeah, I think I actually like my position slightly better. Not much more, but I don't mind my position. It's what they do with this. So they're wondering now because if they push, it's kind of, I wouldn't want to castle kingside in that situation. Just it kind of, op it's opened up now a bit. So there's also a, I was going to say a check. They could have just defended like so. So what we're going to do is we are going to, if we go here, where do they go? Maybe here. Then if I take it, it invites their knight in. Now I don't want to give their knight away in. So what we're going to do is. All right, we're just going to move over here. And then that looks really silly, but I've got a plan, a little plan. Try and get this here and then just try and just have it in line with the queen. Always nice. Okay, so that comes in now. It's currently protected twice. But if it's this square they're looking for, then from there, they can obviously target this and this. So to prevent that, we can just move forward one. I see no problem with that. Now they are getting their pieces out. So let's get the rook over here. Yeah, let's get the rook out. Okay, so they are targeting our b7 pawn and also targeting our bishop. We could save the bishop by just taking. That invites them in to a really nice position. And from there, we just push. And then where do they go? They go back. Then I think we take. So... We're going to take that. They come in there attacking this. So actually we cannot just push them. Um, so for here, I think what we will do is. Do we just go up? Then come double up. Yeah, do you know what? That's not bad, is it? Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, let's do it. We'll double up. Try and they, wow. Okay, anyone else see a free pawn? Free pawn? Anyone? Can you see it? Can you see the free pawn? It's that can't take back. Lose the queen. So what we will do now is probably just drop back. We've got our pawn. Now, is there any more tactics? Now, obviously, this is. You can take that now. So what we will do is come back because they could also be looking at this pawn if this pawn moves forward. So maybe an extra defender on it just like so. And then I think we get this knight back around here and maybe attack this. Or maybe we just push. Because at the moment, that can only go back here or here. Now... If we were to attack the queen and attack that, say they take, we take with pressure on this. I think I think doubling up's not a bad option. What are they trying to do here though is the question. You know what we're gonna do? 
I think I want to be a little bit careful. We're, we're going to get this involved. That's what we're going to do. Now, if they take, we'll take back with the bishop. Okay, they wanted to do that. Need to be a little bit careful now because this is only defended by the bishop. Oh, sorry, and the queen. I lie. So do we double up? Is that a good thing to do? Hmm. Okay, so... Wow, okay. Interesting. Screen went off. Um, yeah, this is still defended twice because they are looking at it. We could just move this forward. Just trying to see if there's any kind of danger of this coming in and... Or we could just... Yeah, we go. Whoa, 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 we're okay. Um, okay, so if they push on, I take... Now, this is interesting. So we're going to just... No, we're not going to do that because then they can take... No, they can't. They're not going to take that with the queen. So let's... I don't know what to do. I'm just going to move forward like this. Still defending it twice and also potentially come in here. Maybe double up over here now. Those the bishop pair always scares me. Right, okay. So let's do let's looking ahead, is that square gonna be vulnerable at some point? Maybe. Hmm. So maybe just get this out of the way. If I go here and they take, we take. We've got an isolated pawn. So now that pawn is currently defended once. What are they going to do? Um, maybe just drop this here in the middle. I should just really get that out of the way, but I can't find a decent kind of square for it at the moment. Maybe here, here, they push on. Then I just end up basically back. All right, so now they're attacking it once, twice, once, twice. Um, we can defend it again. Right, let's do that. Now that would be quite nice. In fact, that's very risky. Look at these three things there. But they'd have to move this and get the queen behind to be able to do something. And we could actually just defend like that. But it's still not a good thing to have these three key pieces lined up like so. Now, they're attacking it again, but we're just going to attack back. So, yeah, I don't know about that. What about... If we line this up as well, and then we go and attack the queen, say they take back, then we take, there's two eyes looking at this, running out of time, need to start, need to start thinking about stuff, thinking about stuff, need to start just hurrying up and trying to come up with a plan how I could sort of get in there and I'm not seeing it. Maybe here, and if they don't take, then maybe here, threatening this. It's a bit kind of easy, isn't it? Okay, so now we're going to... Now we're definitely going to do that, because there's a fork on these two, so they're going to take back. We're going to take back. Defended. Once, twice. So we're going to just try and get some pieces off the board. Maybe a little bit early for that, but... Now, because they've only got a light square bishop, and their bishop's looking really sad at the moment, so maybe... If they just move the queen there, oh no, that's bad. That's really bad, because then we just take. And then they lose the queen. So I don't know what they're gonna do here. I don't know how they can defend that rook. Whoa, really? Okay, I see what they're saying. So obviously if I take this, then I come in here. Well, hang on. If I sweat this out for a second, if I take this, they come in with check. I go here. They come back here for a check. I go here. And I'm good. No. So I'm taking that. 
Wait, what's going on here? Where's my computer? My computer did some sort of update lately, and you know what it's like when it does it. It just turns into a mess. So we are going to give ourselves a little bit of daylight, or maybe we'll just go here. Seems fine to me, no? Check comes in. F7. And that's the end of the checks, no? Wow. Okay, so... I think we're going to... Get this over here like that. Why that? So we want to get this round here. And those two won't be moved. Okay. So we will do that. Yeah. Can check there, but we just drop back and then we've got the momentum. equal on the clock so we're gonna go here and attack where do they go if they, they can't check there Queen defense so they just go back Oosh. okay so now we are just gonna come here like so yeah, looking at the, no, not the check. That would be a big mistake. Now they can't, if they check there, we just come in. Okay, so they're looking at this. Um, again, we're just going to keep these two working t together. I think that's a good thing. They can't be moved unless he wants to lose the rook or unless this comes in and attacks. They're going to try and work on these pawns getting getting home, basically. So they're down a queen, but it's not over by any kind of... Uh... So does this check do anything? Well, it does, because we're in a pawn. Okay, so we're going to go... We're going to take this pawn. And then we're going to take this pawn. They might come in for some desperation checks, but... I just think it's too late. I think it's too late. We will just dance around and just sort of go over to where they are. So we're going to take this pawn now. I don't know what they're up to. Still got to be careful. Not much time on the clock. And they resign. Fair enough. I respect that. Okay, guys. That was two fast games. Ten minute rapid. And that's what it is. You saw the first game. It happens and under this time pressure you just make a mistake and it's no different from a mistake you'll see at 1400 1500 1600 what i mean it's just it's a mistake it happens at every level especially in these 10 minute rapid games second game yeah we we uh we nicked a pawn and then i think um afterwards we were just kind of we were just on the ball we were we were feeling sharp coming into this tonight i didn't want to say beforehand but i did feel i felt alert um, I got 80% accuracy. They got 74% accuracy. So I was definitely on it today. And uh, let's just run through quickly what... Um, so they did this interesting uh, opening. And I wasn't quite sure. So I did that. Yeah, by the way, I just give up a pawn. But it's kind of... It works with the Rusu Gambit because the knight's out. And then you can push forward. So it's almost like a Vienna. But that's just silly because I have literally given away a pawn. But it, in a way, I could have just come back and then I can take this back at some point, bring this in. and So I, I didn't mind. I'm used to losing this pawn. Let me come in here. No. So they just wanted me to take the pawn. Right, fair enough. Okay, so come back in the middle. Strike back in the middle. Then I should have taken. It's saying I should have taken the pawn. So which pawn though? This pawn? I know. Okay. Is it going to say queen? 
it is but i again i didn't want them to take and then me take and then this is slightly exposed this side because this was the side i wanted to castle so i had my reasons and it wasn't a bad move it just said it was a good move but then the attack and i just dropped back okay i missed an opportunity to nick a pawn yeah just missed it completely uh which was silly it happens and he said uh in these 10 minute games so just drop back again castling right that's perfect and here we're 2.2 up no okay i just didn't want to allow their i didn't want to allow this knight in it's been happening. If you've watched any of my videos lately, I've been allowing knights to come in, like right in my face. And that's just, you've got to learn at some point. So I was trying to sort of cover all entrances to that. Then they come in attacking these two things. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, here we go again. I could have just, I could have got back here actually, defended like so, or even queen over here. So yeah, I could have done that. I don't think I did any of that. And I just took, didn't I, yeah. So I could have defended, which was slightly bad because they brought their bishop in. But then I could just move my rook forward. And then I... Yeah. And then I got the free pawn. Yeah. And then they get out of, out of the pin. So I can just drop back. We're pawn up and we're 2.7 up. And I think we pushed the bishop away now. Which was bad. So the best was... Yeah, I like that. Okay, much better. See, I think sometimes just trading down when you're sort of up material, that's what you're supposed to do. I know I'm only a pawn up, but I didn't mind trading off a few pieces here. And now I'm 2.3 up. I just thought just defending this square again. Oh, of course, yeah. Can't take. Check. So. Right, and that was bad. I mean, that was just, yeah, nice fork. And... I, I don't know what they thought here. So once I've taken back, oh, of course here, because they couldn't defend this. They can't defend that. I've got two defenders on this rook. So if they take with the queen, I take back, they take, and then they've just lost their queen. So that was the situation. Now, if they had have gone here, for example, same applies. I could take that rook, threatening the queen. If the queen takes back, I just take back. So that was just trouble so the best move for them was to wow okay i was interested by that so they said right on target is that's the best move c7 is the best move uh, so they win their pawn back because they're losing their queen but they're getting two rooks but they have lost their queen yeah and then from here, look, I'm five five up. I mean, should I should just be converting this. And I don't know as well, some people might find that they can't convert. And that happens a lot as well because you can end up in great positions and all of a sudden, say you just did something silly and lost your queen. And then that's just, it's completely even Steven. So yeah. And just winning these pawns here. And that was just it. I was just going to snap everything up. But yes, guys, that's it. Two games, two victories. Feeling good. And yeah, the journey continues. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. Uh, drop me a comment, good or bad. I'll take them all. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Because that is definitely helping me and my journey. And we're looking to grow this channel. And yeah, thank you again for watching. Happy chessing and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. See you later. Bye bye.